Not the usual pick, but you know, I can dig it. You gotta mix that up a little bit, Kareem. Yeah, sometimes you gotta hit him with the uh, the buzz mix-up. Maybe this was the mix-up all along. Yeah, the music <laughs> mix-up. <laughs> okay, so there's in fact the Joker pick, which you predicted. Let's see if the buzz will be picking Rosalina or or Olimar. And uh, there's definitely some excitement happening on the other side of the stream. So if you don't have both streams open, be sure to have Master Hand Gaming open because something hype is happening over there. And someone just popped off. Uh, Suarez? 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 Let's Yoshi? go, Suarez. Suarez, 3-2 over the Jackal. All right, so Suarez just defeated Jackal, 3-2. Game five, last stock, last hit, nail biter set. Ooh, yeah, Suarez definitely look like it from over here. Yeah, so we are about to... Wait, does that mean Yoshi made top eight? Yeah, there you go. Gosh, darn it, Sid. <laughs> I blame yep. Sid for everything. <laughs> everything Yoshi related, at least. But here we go, game one. There are the, our characters, Olimar versus Joker. Yeah, Joker, very strong force in the meta. Of course, the best player in the world. Um, pretty much, I mean, pretty much Solo Mage's character. We've seen the, uh, the Martha and Lucina coming out as of recent, so... Maybe he's going to have that in his uh, back pocket, but pretty much uh, is going to be ranked number one, like uncontested this season, and it was pretty much mainly with Joker. Yeah, so excited to see who's going to be on the rest of that PGR. But for right now, Olimar versus, uh, Olimar versus Joker. I like the way that Tweak is maneuvering with Joker. Oh, yeah, his ledge trapping is so strong. And, I mean, that's just one one of uh, Tweak's many strengths as a player. His, uh, but his ledge trapping particularly is very strong, and he, it, his ledge trapping reminds me of just cloud, his cloud ledge trapping from Smash 4. Look at that. It, he put the buzz on the ledge, and it just over and over and over, rinse and repeat, and it was just, what do you do? I mean, it didn't even feel like the buzz even had opportunities at the ledge. He was continuing to get shot up and take damage as he tried to recover. And as soon as he did, he got hit with an up smash. To yeah, take the stock, like once the buzz tried to get offensive with the rising arrows, just up smash out of shield, and Tweak is ready to pull the trigger on that. Tech chase, ooh, the down air sends off stage. Now, and we see that Tweak is not going super hard off stage. Like we see him shoot up the guns a little bit, but mainly always tries to get pick up a little bit of damage, but get back in position for the ledge trap. And man, that blue Pikmin got it. <laughs> oh yeah. That one's not coming back for sure. <laughs> Sidestep the uh Almar's grab, very good, but uh, definitely doesn't have the speed as uh, other grabs. And man, Tweak is at 12%, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. More than halfway on our way to Arson, but okay. Oh, hey, oh, whoa, 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 oh, 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 wait, oh, there's more. But wait, there's more to this character. <laughs> That's right. I mean, we almost forgot about Arson because we it was almost a full two minutes where he didn't come out. Yeah, that Been was... on the bench this entire time, but hey, now it's Arson time. And of course, back air into a Tetracarm, but very, very patient to buzz going to punish it. Yeah, and just like that, Arsene actually not getting a lot of work done, and uh, the Buzz doing a really great job waiting that out and just really winning a lot of neutral exchanges. That's Purple. True. Yep, call back to that Pikmin, and it's time to set up these lead traps. We have a yellow back. Oh, okay. Interesting. He made sure that Purple was going to be on the second in lineup so that down smash would send uh, at enough angle that it would still kill from across stage. Ooh, there's the Nair again. The buzz getting sent off stage. 150 percent on this little astronaut. Okay, oh, wow, the smash. up air might have just killed, but the forward smash still not enough. Wasn't the purple Pikmin there? Yeah, Arsene the might be coming out to play again. Yep, yellow's back next in the lineup. He really needs to make use of that purple Pikmin. I, is the buzz to the side be here from Arsene? I don't. I honestly don't know. <laughs> Oh, tries to get the dash attack, but the up air, anti air, gonna take Tweak's first stock. But man, the buzz is at 169%. That's right, he's definitely hurting, but no arson. So, gonna have to still land that back air. He does land the back air. Tweak gonna go up another stock. Honestly, really good stuff on the buzz for kind of like stabilizing that. That was that was getting quite out of hand. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> with the lead that Tweak, especially with Tweak with momentum, is a completely different beast. That trapping is just so clean. Okay, but here again, uh, Arsene about to come out here. But th this isn't too threatful unless Tweet gets a really good string. Um, Ar when Arsene comes out and you're at like low percent, as long as you're not in kill percent, you know what I mean? It it's usually not too, too devastating. Very true. Okay, good air dodge. Don't allow uh, to bust not to get hit with that back air, especially at the ledge. Around 70%, 80% on Olimar. That would have been very tough. Very hard hit to receive. 
Yeah, and that white Pikmin has pretty much drained that Arsene with that back throw as well. Uh oh, wait a minute. Yeah, now it's contributing to the Arsene funds. Okay, but going to wipe that stock at 89% here on the buzz. Honestly, like I said, once again, the buzz is so good at being able to stabilize in these situations. Doesn't go on tilt, just knows what he has to do to win and executes. Yeah, falling back here is going to connect on the buzz and putting him at 100%. Now, even though that the buzz is the one that's like almost down like by a ton of percent, he's still the one uh, who's in fact being more defensive and Tweak being the the aggressor. Yeah, he, Tweak's trying to apply a lot of safe pressure, especially with these down guns. Um, just playing at that mid range, right? You don't you don't want uh, Almar to set up too hard on his lineup. So definitely a character that can be pretty hard to camp. All right, but can you outplay this Arsene? The gun in the dash attack that can gonna... convert. Yes, that's is that real? <laughs> that is real. We we've done it. We've done we've it. done it for we've, sure. We've done it, Arsene. <laughs> gun in the dash attack and yeah, that gun that, into dash attack. Yeah, that's that's a new one for me. Yeah, I mean, oh uh, look at look at Squirtle. He's so happy now that he's on the bench. Like he's not. He's <laughs> yeah, not, Squirt, you know he what? He doesn't have to fight. Squirtle's on the side, chilling out with the homies with the chopper hat. Like, <laughs> come on, man. I I don't want nothing more for my boy Squirtle. Yeah, just let the boy be. He doesn't need to get hurt anymore. <laughs> Stop All right, so that was a interesting game Omar. one. Um, Honestly, I'm very surprised that, like I said, the buzz was able to bring it that close, considering how far behind he was in the very start. Yeah, but that's just like the debuzz play style. He's yes. always calm and collected, calculated. He's trying to think of how he can turn this situation into a positive for him. Yeah. Galaxy brain the buzz, man. That's, in fact, the best way to describe him. You compare your brain to a galaxy. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys know, but a galaxy, that's, uh, that's quite something. Okay, so sticking out with just the yellow Pikmin at the moment, he probably wants to use that extended hit stun. Yes, for early combos. Yes. But is he going to get a chance on the ledge here? Again, another throw. Yeah, looking very similar to how game one was starting, getting shot up at the ledge, but still able to make it back. Oh, the Nair not going to connect. Tries to pick him up with the grab, but Tweak, knowing that, going for that spot dodge. Okay, that's those connects, and now we're gonna see more shoot him up. I like the pullback with the second jump to make sure he's not taking that extra damage. Yes, it's a little bit, but guess what? When you get hit with like three to seven times, that adds up. Oh yeah. And gun, gun damage definitely adds up. Oh, but facing the wrong way here. Tweak gonna be on the ledge here, and now we see the purple coming into play. Yellow, purple, pretty strong lineup here, but. Yeah, actually, okay, still holding on to the purple. Do on solo purple right now. Oh, the air dodge against the uh, purple Pikmin very nicely timed. And wow, again, Tweak just ha knowing exactly when and where uh, the buzz wants to get offensive. Oh, so that purple Pikmin actually took the Yeha. <laughs> the homie. Yeah. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh. Yeah, you're just dead. <laughs> Doesn't even need the drag down, just forward air one right into the up air. And oh, not going to wait out the Arsene there. Man, yellow Pikmin getting messed up. I mean, that was a pretty good call coming from DeBuzz. He's able to utilize the max, maximize his invincibility because the longer you are on the Angel platform, the less invulnerability you're going to have coming off. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, usually with uh, when Arsene's out, do you want to stall out guaranteed time or do you want to play where you can go in on Arsene and you're literally invincible? And that's rolling the dice. And guess what? The buzz kind of came out on top. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely. Either way, there, there's no like right answer in yeah, that. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of just like what you want. It goes to your play style. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, going right into the forward tilt. And again, Tweak just keeping this pressure on the buzz, just not really giving him any breathing room here. Yeah, the holy percent. Arsene out. Bang bang. Okay, forward throw, and now it's time to set up the lift trap from Tweak. And the buzz is desperately trying to get out of this corner. The, I feel like the right ledge has been the home for Sir DeBuzz this, uh, this entire set so far. I mean, it's not a happy home you want to be at either. <laughs> That's a broken home. Somebody left to go get cigarettes one day and they never came back. But guess wow. what? That Pikmin came back and he came back with a vengeance. Off the backboard too. I like that. Uh, really creative edge guard there from the Buzz knew that he wanted to eventually go by the ledge and had the read of exactly where. But here comes the up air combos. 40% already on tweak. That's true. And that Arson bar looking almost full too. Getting a trade with the purple Pikmin. 46%. Oh, 
Okay, yeah. here we go. Persona! <laughs> yep. Arsene is out to play. And, ooh, lands the backer offstage situation here for the buzz. Okay, just going to offer the ledge trap once again. Tweet playing very, very cautious here. I like the patience side? coming from the buzz. Took long enough to get to the other side of the stage that the invulnerability reset. So he wasn't in danger of getting like a punished at the ledge. Oh, yeah. Right now, the buzz again playing this very well. There goes the Arsene, but he is able to squeeze out the back air just before Arsene make, takes his leave. Wow. That was a cross stage, that back air kill. Oh, this is a blue. Oh, no. I, I can't even tell which Pikmin it was, but um, nonetheless, uh, Tweak is alive. But the up smash reaction on from normal getup. Very nice yeah, stuff. Great pickup from the buzz, evening up the stocks, evening up percents, which could be the first time that we've seen this scenario since them like starting game one and game two. Yeah. Oh, the buzz getting offensive on this platform here. Okay, back here into the grab. Whistles through the follow up there. Okay, getting stuck at the ledge once again, but being able to maneuver around. Okay, grabbing the ledge a little bit too early this time. Not opting to retreat to the other side. Down throw, back forward air, only going to clip a Pikmin that's on tweak. Oh, tried to get the uh, jab lock set up. Arsene is out to play, but right now the buzz is in that advantage. He tries to get the purple spike, reads the roll as well. The buzz in complete control as he gets the down air. This time going to spike Joker and Arsene. Right, so when they played uh, last weekend at the Invitation War, do you remember what game the Buzz won? Was it game one? One? Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, they had like a crazy close game three. Like, oh, super last dog last hit. So, I mean, kind of going the same way. I mean, at least it's 1-1 one, one going into game three. So, uh, we'll see. It's going to be uh, Tweak's count trick here. Oh, Yo, dang. clap it up for that man. That man's like looking a hero fresh. of the... Yeah, looking fresh. So yeah, shout out to everyone that's still at the venue. This has been a great event. If you had the opportunity to make it out, I would definitely recommend coming out to a, a tri-state <laughs> event because this this crowd is actually, you know, this community in general is a lot of fun. Yeah, tri-state's super, super fun. And it's just really cool that, uh, of course, uh, New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania, they're so close to each other. So most of the time, I feel like those states support each other's like regionals and stuff like that, or just tournaments in general. So. Really cool to see. I mean, even like South Carolina came out and drove this event. Like, that's so. I mean, that that's that's so still blows my mind. Yeah, that's like super cool. I mean, this is a B tier. Yep. It's crazy. All right, going into game three. Starting on Town and City. That's going to be the counter kick for Tweak. Yeah, and I mean, we've seen like in both games, usually Tweak opens up pretty strong, but the Buzz is just able to just really put the ball back in his court, I feel like. See how this, uh, this game number three starts off here. Drag oh, down, ooh, right into Guns the into drag down. Yeah. This, ooh, this pressure coming out from Tweak. Even the up B with Cherry on top. And more Cherries on top. We got the Aga. Yeah, the Aga. Fortunately for the Buzz, that's going to be a dodge damage. You know, something that he's very familiar with. Oh, the drag down. Okay, not going to go for um, a drag down setup. Just going, opting for another fair. Patience and coming out from Tweak. Not even opting for shield as the Buzz weaves around him. Yeah, like the confidence coming out from Tweak's position. Ooh, confidence yeah. indeed. He dropped very low and lands the back air under the Buzz. Yeah, I mean, that's the first time we've really seen Tweak go hard off stage. But I think like going into game three, you know, scores 1-1. You know, they're finished like really trying to analyze each other. Now it's time to use make, all that data to your advantage. Make the big plays happen. The grab. Oh, he he, wa he he was definitely scheming there. He, he wanted to get the kill. He was like, air dodge, push a button, give me something to react to. But the buzz, of course, knew he just had a little bit of Arsene meter and didn't want to give him anything to react to. No, very, you know, very intelligent move to just retreat underneath uh, the stage and off to the other side. Oh, man, and finally the buzz seems like he gets back to center stage, but no, Tweet just takes command again, this white Pikmin. Gonna get a uh, Rebel Guard, and we might see another appearance. Yeah, but that Rebel Guard actually got punished by the Buzz, putting Tweak off into the corner, which yeah. allowed the Ledge Trap to come out and the Buzz to pick up the sock. Yeah, that was uh, super worth for the Buzz. That was Galaxy Brain. <laughs> it, it, it didn't really, the Arsene didn't even come out in that situation, right? So, really just setting up the situation and executing from there. Okay, Whoa. that was smart. The Rebel's Guard also destroying that White Pikmin <laughs> as well. But hey, the Buzz, yeah, yeah, back on the ledge. Oh, and great pivot grab. Beautiful pivot grab coming out from Tweet. Back air, not quite enough. Didn't have your buddy Arsene there, but the damage keeps racking up. Yeah, the 
but still has access to his air dodge. Now resetting at the ledge, 156%. Jab? Oh, okay. Arsen jab. Would, no, yeah, yeah. Arsen jab for sure, but regular jab, that would have been a little sus. Yeah, like, that would have been crazy. Yeah, I mean, the buzz is still here. <laughs> He's still oh getting pressured in this corner. Tweak just chopped down that yellow Pikmin. <laughs> no <laughs> mercy just out here. Him. <laughs> no mercy. All right, the buzz just books it, bro. He's just <laughs> like, I need to get to safety. I need to get somewhere safe and just beelines it. Sometimes you gotta just rely on your own two legs. Like yeah. you can see, that Pikmin are putting a bunch of damage onto Tweak. And now the man of the hour is here, Arsene. Okay, Pikmin kind of beaten up on there. Only uh, half left. The Buzz is so good at playing around these Arsens. I feel like Tweak hasn't made too many power plays with Arsene, and the Buzz just is able to live so long on most of his stocks against Tweak. The more I'm watching these two uh, go at it, especially when Arsene is out, it reminds me of like the old uh, Rose Olimar Cloud matchup, where right. the Buzz was just like, you know what? You can have, keep your blue aura. I'm out of uh, here. Yeah, uh, Rosa Cloud. Yes, Rosa Cloud. Yeah, he, yeah. he used Olimar. Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, so Tweak definitely with the stock lead, but how much damage can he get? Because time and time again, we always, I mean, for, at least for this set, we've seen the buzz in this position where he's down a stock, and slowly but surely doesn't take that much damage, slowly chips away, and is able to eventually take the stock. And it's looking like this once again. This is game number three. Okay, well, that purple pigment took an error, but unfortunately, it's not enough to get rid of him. But Aha is going to put a good amount of damage onto the Buzz for free. Like, no pressure needed. Okay, using the Rebel Guard and getting a little bit of extra meter. 95% at the ledge. That's a healthy purple Pikmin. Two it's purple awesome. Pikmin. Yeah, two purple Pikmin and the white. Yeah, just And that time he only goes for one tick because that's all he needs, right? Right. So now Arsene is out to play. And I like the punishes on these uh, white Pikmin. Oh, the up smash was so close to connecting. That's yeah, interesting. It didn't connect. Probably some good DI on the Buzz's part, making sure that he just drifts right outside the zone. Off stage once again, Side B not connecting, but Tweet going deep for that stock and gets the back air nowhere for the Buzz to go. And I feel like Tweet is getting a little bit more comfortable off stage in this matchup as, uh, as we're going through the set. I mean, you really have to <laughs> when it comes to. Yo, let, let's go, let's, Koopa. Let's, let's go, go, Koopa. Koopa. Getting the run on. <laughs> But yeah, you have to be comfortable when it comes to, you know, really playing against the Buzz, the Olimar, really any Olimar, because they're not going to have an active hitbox as they try and fly back. Yes, they can throw out attacks, but once they do, they've committed to that decision. Right. Once the up B gets um, initiated, they can they can swing out of it with an aerial. But other than that, usually uh, they have to set up the Pikmin. Like, they, they want to throw their purples defensively in right. that situation, kind of, like, get rid of some of the weight. The more Pikmin that are... Uh, with Olimar, um, the more weight it has, so it can slow down your up B. So mm -hmm. most of the time, most Olimars will ditch all their Pikmin, but they're trying to they try to throw them on stage. It'd be a little nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially those purple ones, man. Yo, you, those, those are, are a, a huge resource. You cannot yes. waste those. Yeah, they are beautiful Pikmin, and they must be appreciated. Yeah, and that's uh, one unique thing about Olimar. Um, in Smash Brothers for the Wii U, they changed it to instead of pulling at random in Raw, you pulled at random. No. But in, uh, in Smash, Smash for the Wii U and onward, you they have a set uh, order. So, uh, oh, looks like the Politana pick actually coming out here for the Buzz, game number four. We were talking about how like the Buzz might have something up his sleeve, might something a little bit unorthodox that we weren't ready for, and I think this is it. Yeah, the Politana pick, uh, Politana A. Very popular character in the meta. Definitely not too hard to pick up and very, very strong. Ooh, I like it. The crouch underneath the auto reticle. Yeah, using the, using the auto reticle to just uh, absorb the side B from Joker. Oh, but there's the narrow. Joker falling out of it, though. Some of these platforms can kind of mess it up. It's the ledge trap here. Okay, up throw into up air. Look at the center stage control. And I, Tweak is playing around the neutral air so well. He's been hit a couple times, but pretty much Palutena's main neutral moves is going to be like neutral air, forward air, back air, depending on which way you're facing. And Tweak's just doing an amazing job facing around. Again, look at that whiff punishing that neutral air. Getting another grab. Just charging the landing by the buzz. He's trying to just land safely. Gets, gets shot up a little bit, but put it back on the ledge, and a back air is going to take the stock. Once again, Tweak taking the lead. Yeah, and this time, uh, 
Buzz trying to come in against this Arsene. Arsene gonna get a little bit of damage, at least 25 before it sees its way out. Yes. Double fair from the Buzz. When it's gonna reconnect, and we see a back air from Tweak. And those, the down gun like that, in that at the ledge, it's just so hard. Because if you ledge jump, you usually get caught. It, you, you gotta get like that horizontal, you gotta get up and horizontal. And it's just so hard to do that on the ledge. That's right. Of course, but here comes the explosive lane covering the ledge. Very smart from DeBuzz. You know Tweak wanted to set up for a back air. Yeah, and Tweak is just keeping the pressure on. Really, uh, the Buzz is always finding himself trying to fight his way out of the corner. And I just, I, I just really like, and that, that's one thing Leo is really strong at. He puts you in the corner with Joker and doesn't really give you a way out. It feels like. Okay, we're well, another side B gonna connect onto the Buzz, and that's gonna be a good amount of damage. It just slowly racks up. Forward air connects onto Tweak, and there is that gonna be it? Wow. Yes, the forward air enough to take it. Definitely not uh, Palatina's strongest aerial, but mm -hmm. enough to get the job done at that percent. Yeah, you can see why you know, the buzz actually opted for this pick. Recovery, teleport, it's going to be a little bit harder to just go deep and try and challenge it. Because if Tweet goes too far, uh, he can always teleport to the ledge, and it's very difficult to tell and part pressure. Yeah, and, and for Tweet, he's kind of down to not really stretch out for the uh, uh, offstage game. You know what I mean? He's completely content with the ledge trap against right. Palutena. Both players fighting for the center stage, but there's the Nair, but a little bit too much rage in the tank here for the Buzz. Gonna make these early percent combos a little harder to connect. Yeah, but the man of the hour is back. Here we have Arsen again, back throw. Now shoot him up at the ledge. What's the call going to be? Looking for a back air. F tilt onto the Buzz's shield. Okay. The Buzz is stalling out time here for Arsen. Interesting, throwing out a short hop down air because he knew that uh, Tweak was going to low profile dash at us. Yeah, oh, there's a fair call out. Can Tweet get, I mean, yeah, even even if he didn't get the stock with Arsene, like, Arsene was Joker, someone at 160, you're just going to land the bear and eventually get the stock. Yeah, still kill percent regardless of Arsene or not. We're at 87, the bus still has a little bit of work to make up. Here's the up throw, up air, another aerial, yep, there's the forward air. Tries to get the snaps on the way down, but the bus going for that platform. And retreating underneath the platform, trying to wait out this dot damage, look for his opening. Ooh, I love the down tilt. And again, like, Tweak is doing such a great job of making the Buzz feel like he's going to come in and pressure him, and then the Buzz will try to fight back with hitboxes, and then Tweak just fades back or stays still and then whiff punishes. Really, really nice. Uh, and you really have to do that against Palutena because it is very, very hard to challenge Palutena air to air because of her neutral air and, like, the priority it has. Right. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But you see, like, throwing out more projectiles coming from Tweak. He's not auto reticle. He's just dashing into the uh, to a sliding edge. Oh, but there's the Nutrair, one of the uh, better edge guarding tools in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Uh, just lasts for a very, very long time. Pretty strong too. I mean, it's not like absurdly strong, but right. it definitely gets the job done. Okay, forward throw. Here we go. Back into the left trap position. Oh, up and over. Okay, there's the downer to get something started here. The drag down. No, catches the air dodge though. Getting a good amount of punnels, that's gonna add up a good amount of damage as well. Okay, back air pressure, but side be a little too close. And here comes the buzz, getting something started, but here comes the main and final boss here, Arsene. Gonna have to fight through this one and possibly a second one as well to bring us back to the buzz's favor. The back air cross stage, not enough. I like that, throwing out a gun just in case the buzz officer can uh, recover low. Immediately runs up, gets more pummels into a forward throw. 184 percent. We're at the percent where just about anything will take stock. Yeah, and I, like I said, at this point, even the buzz did stall it out, but because he just shielded and took a lot of grabs. But at this point, Joker can just down throw and kill you. So wait a minute, though. The buzz getting maybe cooking a little bit. A little cook. Oh wait, oh, missing, missing the conversion now. Wait forward a minute. Connects on the, the buzz. Oh, he gets the up air call out, and that is going to be it with the max rage. And now we are going to be in a game five situation. Tweak could not find the stock with Arsene. He could not find the back air of the grabs. The buzz was playing so slippery and knew exactly what Reedy was going for at the end to finish it off. Now, do you think that was also like comes to what options Tweak was picking when the buzz was shielding? Like, yes, the buzz was in shield a lot. Knew he was going to get grabbed, but Tweak would pummel and then throw the buzz off stage. Do you think that was like a smarter decision than keeping the buzz on stage and like trying to chase him around? It, it, it's tough because the the shield is going to stall you out nonetheless. Right. Like you you can pressure it, 
you can try to shrink it down, but mm. it, it is going to pass time. So it, it, it just depends on like what you want at that point. And Tweak has so much confidence in his ledge trapping. I feel like it's like, oh, get the grab damage, throw him back out, and I get the ledge trap situation again. You know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. That is, if that's his like favored terrain, that's where you want to be most of the time. It, from what it sounds like, that is, in fact, Tweak's favorite position. Right, and you, there are different ways you can go about it. Mm. You know, I mean, you, you can pressure the shield, try to like, Break, uh, at least poke the shield down and then try to set up for like some kind of shield poke situation. Okay, we're running right back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Many a back air. Ooh, good conversion coming out from Tweak. Easy 31%. Now yeah, we're gonna bring it back to Pokemon Stadium 2, and there's the uh, forward air into the dash tag. Probably wanted dash tag there. Mo Palutena forward tilt, not the best. I mean, is has its situations like for ledge trapping and stuff, right. lingering move, but. In neutral, usually not. Most most of the time, you see that in neutral is like the Palutena probably wanted a dash attack. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see it back here connecting now. Both of these both the players are getting back to neutral. Auto radical connecting onto Tweak. He's gonna swing right through that. Oh no, punish though, barely missing the mark there. Ooh, and these dash grabs, not quite hitting for Tweak, but gets the bullet shoot up and Arsen is out to play. You see another back row putting Buzz off stage. Packing out a little bit of extra damage with guns. Okay, Tweak playing a little bit more patient, not opting for the grab this time. Still got like a third left of Arsene. The buzz going high. And totaling up to 140%. There's the roll. Ooh, tried to call out the jump. The buzz being very slippery. Whoa, the buzz actually coming in for the dash grab. You usually don't see that coming from him. Yeah, a little bit more offensive coming from the buzz. Very interesting, but. You know, fortunately for him, he didn't get punished because Tweak had already opted for throwing out a, a forward there. Yep, and again, the buzz is living to very, very high percents here. Can he just hold on to the stock? We saw him clutch out that game number four with this exact strategy. So the back air is connected. Not going to be lie. enough, but 177%. These numbers are adding up. Tried to get the snap. Oh, and here's the grab for the buzz. Again, Tweak jumping in that disadvantage state. Trying to set up that down gun. So, I mean, it, it's definitely, there's a reason why. Mm -hmm. I'm more interested in finding out why the buzz actually didn't offer uh, an option after the down throw. It looks like he may be just trying to get more data on Tweak. Maybe trying to condition him to think that later on, when he does go for another down throw, it's not going to be for a kill setup, when in fact it is. This is more conditioning in general. But if forward air does connect for the buzz, these back airs are starting to come out. Why pressure to Tweak shield? And there's the ledge trap, and the down tilt connects, and the buzz takes the lead. And a 201%? That's making great use in mileage of that stock. But guess what? It's time to go. Oh, man. And we'll see if uh, Tweet can close out some of these stocks a little earlier. The buzz is doing such a great job at tanking out these stocks. Of course, even with these medium percents playing defensive, make sure that Tweet is the one approaching, trying to get his whiff punches. There's the nair. Only a single nair connected for the buzz. Yeah, usually you can uh, get a little bit more, especially with the amount of rage the buzz has, but maybe just kind of a uh, secure DI coming out from Tweak. Not uh, not ready for that. Okay, there is forward air into Aha. The dots keep coming. Ooh, a little delay on that back air as well. Didn't fast fall with that jump. Ooh, aggressive down air coming out from the buzz. That's right, but Arsen is here. Up throw into up air. Good amount of damage. Buzz taking his time. Using a platform cancel to reset. Oh, wow, and the delay, and he just put himself into a place to react, gets the read, gets the drag down, just to stall him on the platform and connect the up smash. Those are the stocks that Tweet needs to get at these earlier percents. And now that Tweet's, or uh, DeBuzz is at zero, now that he's behind in percent, we're going to see a much more aggressive DeBuzz. As you can already see, double back air connecting. Now trying to reach with these forward airs. Auto Radical going to get jumped over by Tweet. DeBuzz looking for his opportunity. I like that. Approaching with Nair, he was, like Tweak was sitting on a platform, so if he had poked, he would have been able to convert. If not, it was very safe. Our options coming from up the buzz. Tweak's still kind of running at the buzz as well. The buzz definitely started off that uh, right when he came off the engine platform, he was going in. Now kind of slowing things back down. Tweak still applying this pressure, though. Doesn't want to give the buzz too much space to set up. That's right. Another auto reticle connecting onto Tweak. These dash up shields, they're working for the buzz. Oh, yeah. And right now, I mean, he hasn't taken too much damage, but it, it, it's looking pretty rough. Uh, doesn't look the right direction on that neutral beat. Gets the dash attack. We have guns on the way down. Up smash, not going to connect. Now the buzz finds himself back at the ledge. 
Ooh, I like that. Is the back throw enough? No, it's not. Ooh, yeah. a little late on the nair, though. Now, Tweak is the one with the ledge trap situation. That's not where you want to be against Tweak. He just gave up. The buzz gave up uh, stage oh, positioning. Wow. So that should be a back throw. Still, He's still alive. Not enough. Oh, this is bad, though. He's in Arsene. Yeah, there's not a lot of mix-ups there. At least with the grappling hook, you could have, like, clinged on and wait. But yeah. gives him some yeah. hang time. Arsene wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 91%. Last talk for both our players. Game five, it's going to be a very tense situation if the buzz is able to put more damage on the tweak. Okay, and that explosive flame uh, has a lot of shields. Oh, man. That drag down fair. Yeah, that was looking really scary. Okay, gets not able to connect the fall, and that's one thing that the buzz has not really been able to get going. Palatine is, Palatine is definitely known for connecting that Nair at low percent and getting at least 40 damage. Okay, well, there's a good amount of damage right there. Fair into dash attack, and now we see a back throw. No pummels to eat up some meter. Very interesting. Yeah, the buzz just with the throw wants to get this going here. Again, yeah. we see the buzz at a very high percent. That shield looking low. Yeah, it might be time to retreat a little bit. Use those invulnerable attacks. Make sure that uh, Tweak has a difficult time landing. Oh, man, this is looking really scary. Oh, the dash tag doesn't catch the landing. And Arsene is gone. That's going to allow Tweak to recover low. We can see another back air. Now, it shouldn't take the stock, but forced to use the, the double jump. Okay, Ooh. makes it back. Can Tweak nail his ledge trap, though? The back air connects. Is the buzz? Yes, it is. And so, so close with the Politana. I like the switch up from the Olimar. And, man, both these guys really pushing each other to like just their max potential honestly like the, the both they have such close sets and even like the last set at Return of Yoshi's wasn't game five but the games are just so close I mean that was game five that was last year couldn't have been any closer between the two players but Tweak able to come out on top and now he's going to play Nairo in winner's finals yeah that's and crazy these these sets are just so close, too. Even uh, you know, Ny Naira Arfang uh, went to Game Five. Um, not as <laughs> the, the Game Five wasn't as close, but just I mean, Arfang taking Naira to Game Five that in itself. I mean, that in, you're right. That in itself is a statement because last time we saw Arfang like really interacting with like a, like top level PGR players, it was at Summit, and or last time I saw it, anyways. Right, right. And it didn't uh, didn't really go too well for him. So yeah. for him to take Naira to Game Five here today. That shows just a tremendous improvement on his part.